Welcome to the BME 3110 Earthworm Dissection Demo. Once you have obtained and rinsed off an earthworm, you will place it in 15% ethanol solution to anesthetize it. Leave it in the ethanol for about 5 minutes or until there is no visible movement. Do not leave the worm in the ethanol for too long, or you will over-anesthetize it, and you won't get any good data for your contractions. Once you take out the worm, you will lay it dorsal side up. Stretch it out so that it is straight, and pin it down at either end. Using the rat tooth forceps, carefully lift up just the skin below the clitellum, and make an incision with the scissors being mindful of not damaging any innards or the intestine. Using the scissors, carefully cut down the worm's skin towards and past the clitellum, exposing the internal organs of the worm. You will have to cut away the septum and other connective tissues or structures to effectively open up the worm. Once past the clitellum, Carefully cut until the crop and gizzard are exposed. Throughout the experiment, make sure to keep the worm well hydrated with Ringer solution. The crop and gizzard are easily identifiable as they lie directly below the seminal vesicles of the earthworm. Using the probe and a sharp pin, cut away the septa and connective tissues that are holding the crop and gizzard in place. Remember, be careful not to puncture the crop or the gizzard and to only cut away connective tissues on the outside structure. Using the hemostat, take the suturing wire and tie it around both sides of the crop and gizzard. Cut the intestine on either side of the suturing string so that you can remove the crop and gizzard from the rest of the worm. Throughout the experiment, make sure to keep the worm well hydrated with Ringer's solution. Once secured with the wire, make sure to tie the nut and bolt to the end of the suturing string. Make it long enough so it doesn't come into contact with the crop and gizzard, but short enough so that it can fit at the bottom of the earthworm syringe bath and allow the crop and gizzard to rest comfortably near the middle of the bath in the ringer solution. Carefully lower the crop and gizzard along with the nut and bolt into the earthworm bath. Be careful not to place all the tension of the nut and bolt onto the crop and gizzard, otherwise you will stress it out to the point where it will die. Now you can attach the suturing string at the other end of the crop and gizzard to the force transducer. Using the tension adjuster, you can ensure that the crop and gizzard are under enough tension so that you can observe the contractions, but not under too much tension as to destroy the tissue. Now, you're ready to collect data and watch as the crop and gizzard contract. 